be taking part in the Celebrity Paint-a-thon appeal. Celebrities across Britain are all painting pictures as we speak and those very pictures are going to be auctioned to raise money for the people who need it most. Ex Big Brother housemates. Yes, we've already got a couple of paintings that have already been done here. This one was painted by Richard Maidley. Oh, bless him! He thought it was a paint a thon oh, I wonder if it was one of Judy's. Oh. And then another one, Victoria Beckham painted it. As you can see, it's a now portrait. Oh. That's very nice. And today, we are going to add to that collection. We and all of our guests have agreed to paint a live nude. Now, there's nothing funny about this. It's a serious appeal and a very serious art form. So let's treat it that way. Uh, our artists are in position and we're ready to do their bit. So uh, can we have our model, please? Here's what's coming up on the rest of today's show. I'm Vicky Orthy, Diplot, the Clueless at 9.35. Both of which one of our SMTV wannabes you think should be in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang at 9.45? Liberty Act will be performing their practicing of Got to Have Your Love at 10 o'clock. Big prizes, big goals, Georgie Keeper. It's all happening in my girl at 10.20. The brand new series of Sabrina the Teenage Witch starts today at 10.30. The search for Brian Brain continues at 10.45. We'll be having a world exclusive look at us of Junior's new video with LM20. And we're all competing, blazing squad, and Kelly Osborne all joining Cat for Senior UK at 11.30. I got two for two moms. I'm sorry. I'm going to look at you joining the SMTV Saturday Squad. Hi. Exactly what it says on the tin. What's that? Try to win! Yes. <laughs> now then, how would you like to be Gareth Gage? Yeah. Well, SMTV is looking for four winners and the Guardian to meet Gareth in London. Price for travel, loads of free hair care products, all courtesy of Shockwaves. And if you want to win, all you have to do is call us for the answer to this simple question. Sabrina is back today with a brand new series. And what we want to know is, what is Sabrina? Is it Spider Man, Spellman, or Superman? If you think you know the answer, call us on 101 or 799 or call us me at 30p. But please get permission from whoever pays the bill, Brian. And on top of all that, we have Atomic Kid and Mary Tia. Mary Tia is or you could contact us via website at itv.com slash itv. Just like a boss. Thank you, lovely back. Lovely, so smooth and fearless. Right now, enough of that, enough of that. We're going to tell you to please welcome. SMTV wannabes! <laughs> Over the past four weeks, we have been offering one SMTV viewer the chance Ooh. to star in the hit Western musical Chitty Chitty Bang Bang oh, as part of his week. It's going to be good. Today's the day we want you at home to vote for which of our finalists you think. Jumping, I'm so excited. <laughs> just serve that pen. Now, from thousands of audition calls we've received over the past month, we've whittled it down to our top four, haven't we? Yeah, indeed. Have and earlier this week, they travelled to London to attend a chitty workshop at London's Lady Theatre. We've put through their paces in preparation for a starring role. Let's introduce you to them and see how they all are. Oh, I'm a lovely dude, and I can't find you from Northern Ireland, and I'm I'm Sarah Williams. I'm 11 and I'm from Tadley in Blakingstoke. I'm second SMTV wannabe finalist. Hello, I'm Laura Percival. I'm 10 years old. I'm from Hayfield and I'm the third SMTV wannabe finalist. Hi, 
I'm Eleanor Atkinson. I'm 13 years old. I come from North Hills in Birmingham. And I'm the fourth SMTV wannabe finalist. This is Steve, and Steve will just play the tune through to you a couple of times so you can hear, remember what it sounds like after last night, yeah? up a couple of notes because you're not quite sure. So let's sing it a line at a time. Dancing in teamwork, the stage, musical stage, or musical staging. So five, six, seven, if teamwork can make a dream work, if we're not afraid to fight. And we move to our subject earlier on. If you fight, and those legs shoot out to the side to make sure you don't stand on someone's foot. Okay, and you hold your. Oh, 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 just, you just did what I said. Move along, move along, move yeah. along. On the word win, we release and send our energy up into the gods of the theatre. Yeah, it was a nice high chest. Fantastic. Yeah. You know, my mum actually works in Hayfield where Laura's from and she told me that there are posters stuck on every lamppost wishing her luck in that balloon. Aww. And we wish all four of our, our girls the best of luck today. They've done really well to get this far. And each of them has got through to today's final by impressing us with their impersonations of well-known SMTV characters. However, today it is up to you at home to decide which one of our four finalists impresses you most with their acting abilities. And to help you decide from the cast of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, please welcome Richard O'Brien, Emma Williams and Harry Smith. So guys, so how, how's the show going? Is it going well? Exceptionally well. Exceptionally well? Yeah. And tell me something, Richard, is this car really the car from the film? Because I'm a bit excited. I, I believe it's the car from the film. And in fact, this is the first time I've seen it. It looks marvellous, doesn't it? It's a beauty. Now, Emma, you are 18 years old. 19 now. 19. When you Over got the, the role, ball, yeah. you, are, you are the youngest leading lady so far in a West End musical. Are you not? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> so what would you say? What would you say it takes to make it on the stage? Um, a lot of determination and a heck of a lot of stamina. 
determination it's, and stamina. Yeah, I, I don't think even I realised quite how you know how gruelling it was going to be. I mean, it's eight shows a week and all your rehearsals. You've got to go for it. It takes a lot. You've got to be ready to go great for it. Fun. Great and fun. Richard, you are no stranger to musicals. I'm you the oldest are, person. <laughs> you are the creator of the world's famous musicals, The Rocky Horror Show. Are you not? Richard, were you impressed with our four finalists? Um, yes, I think, I think it takes a lot of a lot of courage to uh, to put yourself on the line, and of course we've only got one winner today. Just and, one winner. And, and the, the courage it takes to, to stand there and know that one of us is not going to make it, and that happens to actors all the time, of course. And you You've got to face rejection. Bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. Yeah. You've all done very well, though. Yes, indeed. And I think we actually have a good book message from another star of the cast who suddenly couldn't make it here today. Let's take a look at this. Hi there, this is Michael Ball here in my dressing room on the London Palladium. I'm about to go on stage to appear in Chili Chili Bang Bang, but I want to say best of luck to Sarah Jane, Laura, Eleanor, and Breege. One of you four are going to be joining me next week on stage, starring in the show. Best of luck, break a leg. have to do? Well, Tess, our four finalists will join Emma and Harry to play Jemima. It's the scene where everyone discovers that Chitty can fly when he drives over a cliff chasing their kid and grandpa. Yes, and after you've seen all four finalists, we'll be asking you to phone in and vote for who you thought best deserved to join the show at a London Palladium. Now, is everyone ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all ready for you. Yes. Breeze, you're up first. Would you like to take your position? Come on, give us some board. Come on. And two, take one. Oh no, they've got Grandpa! Come on, come on! They're getting away! They're making for the coast! We've got to catch them! Hang on, Sam! Oh, faster, Trulli! Faster! Faster, Chitty! Please! Truly? Yes, Jemima? What's Bitchy Head mean? Bitchy Head? It's the beach! No! No, it's ahead! Straight ahead! Look out, look out! We're getting for us! We're getting for us! Well, I wouldn't like to uh, pick one, a winner out of those four girls. It's tricky, all. isn't it? They're all really How good. How are we going to do this? I don't know. It's going to go to the public. The public are going to vote. Good. Yeah. Everyone at home, it is time for you to start voting for who you think should win that part in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. To vote for Breeze, call 0901 
566 0101. To vote for Sarah Jane, call 0901 566 0102. To vote for Laura, call 0901 566 0103. And to vote for Ellen, call 0901 566 0104. Hold your content here. Make sure you get admission and the lines are open now. It's very exciting now. Richard, you're going to be announcing the winners for us at 20 past 11. So do get voting now. And good luck to all our full finalists. It's so exciting. Yeah, I'm inside of my seat. And here's what's coming up on the rest of today's show. Liz and Jenny are with us all morning. Little dodgy keeper. It's all happening in my girl, Ten Freddy. The brand new series of Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, starts today at 10 30. Keep an eye for a sitco. Search of Brian's brain continues at 10 45. It's Karen Night in Big Butter at 10 55. There's more for the brand new series of Sabrina. At 11.05. And we'll be having a world exclusive look at S Club Junior's new video at 11.20. And Ronan Keaton, Blazing Squad, and Kelly Orban all join Cat City UK at 11.30. Hello and welcome to a new slot called All About Me. It's a celebrity chat show idea where I sit with a famous person and where we, we chat. As the title suggests, All About Me. Clever, isn't it, Liz? <laughs> I do think it's lovely. It's really informal, you know. It's That's really... Liz. Okay, oh, let's get started, okay? So, what do you think is my bestest feature? Is it my eyes? I like my chin. Maybe it's my clothes. I am a bit of a snappy dresser, aren't oh, I? Uh, Ryan, darling, I'm the guest. <laughs> You are silly, Liz. Okay, what about my hair? Is my hair lovely, really lovely, or awesomely lovely? Um, why, why are you talking about you? This is, I'm the guest. You should be asking about me. No, actually, it's called All About Me. Me. Moi. You know, so let's talk about me. Oi! So, and it's about me. All About Me is not about you, it's about the guest. Oh, who's interested in that? <gasps> let's talk about my shoes. Aren't they pretty? Oh, get off! I'll do it! Oh! <laughs> Apologies for that, Liz. Now then, we want to know all about you. Your childhood memories or your first love. Have you ever canoed down a snow-covered mountain naked? Oh, tell us all about you, Liz. Well, H, my first childhood memory was realising how beautiful my eyes were. And then I said, I've got really nice fingers too. Oh, I give up. Hello, my dear. Thank you, I've ended up. Guess what time it oh, is? Oh, time to post for Oh, yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, 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 but her hamster looks just like Brian Dowling. Oh, here we go. Is this getting revenge on Brian? Uh, and look, look at this. You see that, baby? She's yeah. even done his hair. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> look at that ravishing Robin. <laughs> Very nice. You're right, Brian. Brian. And, uh, it could be the original Fluffy Dowling. I'm feeling. Oh, you're going to get look. yours. But look at this. Completely dance his hat. Oh! oh. Which you went so well. Well, Thank I'm you feeling much. rather confident today in Brian's print, so I might be wearing that hat after all. Yeah, it went. Who knows? Maybe. Let's see, okay. shall we? If I go, just quickly before I do my letter, I just want to say happy birthday to my dad for tomorrow. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Okay. Happy birthday, Mr. Richard. Okay. <laughs> This one says to Brian Dowling, I enjoyed my trip to the studio Here and beating go. you on Brian's brain. Here we go. You're a bad loser. All the crew were lovely and I made lots of friends from Nancy the Golden Guernsey. Not Jones. from last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's a go from last week. I like it. No, I personally wrote you a letter. Isn't well, I've got one and this is actually quite a positive feature I feel at the moment. I've got a card from Cat called Cassie. Um, Cassie Edwards actually said she's seen this um, bear 
and thought it looked Irish. I wonder what about that idea. Look at the Irish. And I also she goes, I think you are great, and she loves me, and she loves to watch. Oh, thank you. And she also thinks I'm cool, and thinks I'm gorgeous. I've got fantastic hair for this No, Brian, I think you're making that up now. Moving on swiftly, let's hope that that helps you out. I know, Brian, the hell that can get. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been embarrassed by my fellow presenters who tried to embarrass me. But this week, it's time to get my own back. <laughs> I've got a letter here from uh, Lynette Davis from Merseyside. She says, I've got a photograph. It's at the beach when he was a blue coat. It's very old. It's 1994. Shall we have a little look? Shall we? Shall we? Let's have a look. <laughs> Two years for one of the most solemn occasions in the British calendar. The beginning of a new series of SMTV Live and the fourth anniversary of the very first show. But more important than all of that, it is the day that the Brian's Brain scores are reset to nil-nil and the Treaty of Goodwill signed between Brian and the Young Contenders. And here comes Brian in his official carriage now. And representing the young people and birds of Britain today is 11-year-old Mirette Grant. They will now sign the treaty. And um, how do you spell Brian? Just put it across. Right. How do you spell that? <laughs> and with the treaty signed, all that's left is the traditional shaking of the hands. And the performing of the wedgie by the winner on the loser. Ooh. We'll see you after the break for the brand new series of Brian's Brain. This time, it's personal. Thank <laughs> you.